Today, we're gonna to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to install a power inverter in your travel trailer. So we install ours in our baggage compartment up front, but depending on your situation, you might want to install it elsewhere. But keep in mind, you want it as close to the battery as you can. So welcome back to the Savvy Campers. Let's move into this project and get started. So step number one in our power inverter install is we're going to need to determine where we want to mount the inverter. So all of our uh, solar charge controller and everything is sitting right here as well as our battery shutoff switch. So uh, right here is the perfect area. So um, this insulation I just added, um, you'll see you can actually watch our insulation video, but this cover panel covers that area. So my thought is to mount the inverter right up in this section, up in here. Um, as far as mounting it, I'll need to figure out some way to uh, um, mount two strips of wood that can, that can hold it. Um, but that was my thought, is to keep it up, up high versus uh, down low, um, because we have some items that go in here. So as long as we can keep it um, maybe as high, as high as we can get it, then that should keep it out of the way and still allow us for a good amount of storage. So then, secondly, you want to determine our power input is on this side, and that'll be towards the front of the trailer. So we'll want to, um, one item is we can run the cables down this existing chase, except for that chase is full, um, and the grommet does not go any larger. So we're actually going to have to drill a new area for the power wires to sit, and I've got a new little pipe, pipe fitting that I will use as a grommet um, for that. So I think, Actually, it works out well if we move that or if we drill another hole to the front of the trailer because then our battery wires will actually be shorter than if we put it right here. So what we would need to do is drill a hole there, bring the wires up here, um, find out a way how to mount the inverter on this because this is just a pretty much a decorative panel right here with uh, some insulation behind it. And then mount the inverter as well as mount our circuit breaker for the inverter and then run our power and ground. So um, first off, let's figure out where we can drill this hole and um, we'll get drilling. So first off, what we're going to do is we're gonna take the drill and drill a pilot hole. So we've measured where we want it so it doesn't hit any beams. Okay, so we'll take our hole saw, put it in the hole, and we'll get to drilling. took the vinyl out that we just cut so we did not need to slit it. A little fast, got some smoke there. Make sure to clear out your drill bit. We go okay let's pull that back out okay so we've got our core out actually it heated it up quite a bit down there the insulation is a little warm not too bad okay so let's check fitment awesome that fits great okay so next step let's get a vacuum cleaner and we'll clean this up and then we're gonna take and glue this in so now that we've got it cleaned up, we're going to mount this. So um, you can use a caulking gun, use some caulk, but I'm gonna use a hot glue gun just to get this the best seal that we can. Get all around it, get around the top. Get it in as fast as you can. Could even kind of go around it. There we go. So we've got our grommet fully installed. I'll get that level. And so now we're gonna go through and figure out our mounting options 
Um, I've got these two pieces of wood. So what I think I'm going to do is get these mounted up here um, so that we can drill the inverter to these. And then I'll probably put the wiring over there on the top one. Um, so on this, I think what we're going to do is come off, put a block on that side and come off the top here um, and put a screw coming through um, the back side. Um, but your trailer might need to be a little bit different than this, but I think that's that's how we're going to mount mount this one. I've changed my mind on the mounting on this. I was going to do vertical slats, but now that I want to make sure that the weight is supported on the actual floor of the travel trailer. Um, instead of horizontal, I'm doing vertical, so I think that will hold these a lot better. Um, so I'm just going to look and see where I want these mounted at. Um, as the plugs go that way, if I have a dog bone, it uh, might interfere. So I think I actually might want this one to hang over the edge like that. Uh, but I don't want to get it in front of my solar um, circuit breaker. So I don't know if a cord a dog bone can make that angle or not. Or if I have to have, I could be maybe right there. Um, obviously, whether I mount it in the top or bottom. So, so I'm going to take this screw, this board, and stick it right there and see where, where I'm at. So I think that's good. So I'm going to mount that one there, and then this other one I'll bring over to about in the middle. So I'll get these screwed on. Um, I think if I mount it like that, I think that would be that would be just fine. Maybe up a little more, then I'm out of the way. So let me mark. Let's mark that. So once again, it's always handy to have a uh, permanent marker around. So that'll I'll just mark the start of that board. So this bows out just a hair, but I think I've got to let it bow out because there's a screw. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this piece of wood here. So basically anytime we want to get down there, we're going to have to remove the inverter, but I don't think we're going to have to get down there very often. So let's decide what uh, size of screw. I think that one will be adequate. Just gonna say I hope we don't crack a board. Let me go get a drill. Let me flip this now that we've cracked that side since the bottom I don't think is as important. We're gonna pre-drill three holes each. Maybe just two on the bottom. Okay, so Now, we can go ahead and try to drill again. So basically the board's gonna hold the weight of the inverter. All we need to do is keep it from flipping forward. So now that we've got those in, we're gonna go ahead and mount the forward bar. So we've got our line we drew. So same thing with drilling. Okay, here's we got the staple on the last one. So now we're going to do the same thing and screw these top ones in. Okay, so now we've finished and we've got a nice, really sturdy, I can actually move the trailer with those area to mount the inverter to. So let's go ahead and 
mount the uh, screws into it and get it uh, kind of ready to go and then we're going to move forward and do the wiring. Okay, so we test fit the inverter um, and we made sure that we actually have um, the angle for the cord to come over. So I marked up a little line. So we're going to go ahead and, and mark up the other side. And then as well on the top. Okay, so we've marked up four dots for the inverter screws. And now we're going to take take our screws. There's these little rubber isolators that, that came with it for mounting. And they will go in the middle and then the screws actually will, that'll actually go through. So let's, let's pre-drill some holes. Okay, so you'll want to make sure that the holes are actually at the bottom because they'll need to slide up. So let's do these top ones first because we really can't see what we're doing. Now we can slide the hole, the inverter in these rubber isolators. It looks like we did not quite get level, so we're going to bring that down just a hair. And then, let's drill our bottoms. Same thing with our bottoms, except for now we can actually just put the isolators on because we can see what we're doing. And then line up your hole. And screw it in. Do that for the second one. And there we go. Uh, tighten the... Tighten the tops. Actually, we don't need to because we're going to have to take it apart. So um, that is a quick, quick and easy way to mount your inverter. And it's very solid. So let's take a peek at it. So we've got our screw there and there and then same at the top and we've got our nice wood uh, area that that we put in to hold it and I think what we might do is mount our circuit breaker right here so it's accessible and then uh, the wiring is just easily conveniently located. Next what we're going to do is mount our circuit breaker so we'll have the battery come in on this side and then the inverter out go on the tall side so let's find a nice screw perfect okay so let's just do right there let's pre-drill Okay, so we've got our circuit breaker mounted. So now we, all we have to do is the wiring and then we're done. So I think first off, let's just do this short run from the power to the auxiliary. And then we're gonna go through, do the power ground. And then we've got a little ground on the side of the inverter that it says to use, I believe it's an eight gauge, but I'll check the instruction manual for that. So next off, what we're gonna do is take our cable that we've got. So. You can buy these pre-made. I just crimped these connectors on. Uh, you can solder them as well. And then we're going to stick a washer on the... So now we've got uh, some washers that we're going to use. And, and this is our inverter out. So let's tighten this up. Okay, that's pretty tight. So then we actually can loop it around and just put it on top of the inverter and we've got a washer on that side and then the bolt for the lock washer it's tough to see because I can't even see back here so you're not going to be able to see anything
Okay, so we've got our power cable connected nice and snug. So then, um, so now we'll, we're gonna go measure for our power input and then we'll also measure for the ground side of the inverter as well. Okay, so now we're going to run the positive cable. So let's run it down through our hole. And then we're going to hook it up to our circuit breaker. And you can find the um, size of circuit breaker that you need for your specific application. All I did was look online and I was able to find, find the appropriate size. Looks like we've got it all in correctly. So let's move on and do the negative wire. Uh, we're actually using the same color of wiring for ground because that's uh, the color of uh, spool we got. And so we marked it about every foot with black electrical tape. So let's go through and get this wired up. Once again, we're working upside down so you won't be able to see this connection point, but essentially we're just going to connect connect this on the lug. Okay, now we're just going to tighten up that negative lug. Okay, and she's tight. And one quick tip is if you're working somewhere you can't see, Use your cell phone camera, take a photo. Or a little crooked. Okay, so we are good. So now we're going to just tighten the last inverter screw on the top here since we actually didn't have to take it off. Um, I thought we would. So that is good. So now we've just got to run our chassis ground. Okay, so now we've got our chassis ground. So we're going to run that down and out as well. And then we're just going to, um, let's see, clip this in and tighten. We'll get a pair of pliers to tighten that. Okay, so now we've got all of our wires ran. Actually, let's run this above that. See if that helps run the wire a little better. Keep it up out of the way. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and make our connections in the front of the trailer. So now we're gonna hook our chassis ground up first. So we've got this convenient little bolt right here, right about where we came down. This bolt does have a nylock washer, so we don't have to worry about it coming off. And then we will suck up some of this excess back in the trailer. Okay, so we've got that, so let's um, work on the power and ground now. So first off, we wanna make sure that our circuit breaker is in fact turned off. So now what we'll do is we'll come up and uh, we can do the, the negative first. So the negative wire, we are actually going further. So we'll route this and then we'll get some zip ties. Okay, so negative wire is routed, and then now we'll take the positive wire, and the positive wire doesn't go too far, so that sits right there. So let's go get some zip ties and then some cabling. Okay, so our positive wire is going to go on top, so let's pull this. One thing I really like is these, um, on these Lion Energy batteries is how they have both 
but they have two terminals, one at the top, one at the bottom. So you can really add and give that a good tighten down. All right, now let's throw the negative terminal on and let's go out the side with this one as well. Ooh. I need to be in front of the camera, so and we're good to go. So now we've got the battery system all buttoned up. I'll take you through the wiring. So we've got our wiring loom that goes under there. And then we're going to take and put some spray foam in that hole. Let's see, in this hole here, so that nothing can get through. So anyways, that is it. That's how we install the inverter for a travel trailer or RV. So it's fairly simple. It just takes some time and it takes a little bit of planning out. So hopefully this helped you and you enjoyed it. So we'll see you um, on the next video.